Have you ever stumbled upon a film that seems to possess an ageless allure? The Taking of Pelham 123, a 1974 movie, stands as a timeless emblem within the industry, its enduring qualities serving as a testament to its lasting impact. The first encounter with this gripping tale leaves an indelible mark, and it's not difficult to discern why it remains an everlasting symbol. This cinematic gem thrives on its unrelenting suspense and razor-sharp narrative, captivating audiences with its masterful storytelling. The intricate dance between cat and mouse set against the backdrop of a subway hijacking keeps hearts racing and minds engaged even through the passage of time. As the credits rolled on this classic, what memories were etched into your own personal reel? What cherished moments or experiences do you hold dear when recalling this gripping tale? Share your stories and reflections with us below. We're eager to delve into your encounters with this cinematic treasure. Your memories and perspectives add layers of depth to the legacy of films like this, enriching the collective appreciation for timeless classics. So, let your thoughts flow freely as we celebrate the enduring impact of the taking of Pelham 123. Share your tales and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. The Taking of Pelham 123, released in 1974, revolves around the meticulously planned hijacking of a New York City subway train, Pelham 123, by a group of armed men led by the enigmatic Mr. Blue, using color-coded aliases. As tension escalates, they demand a hefty ransom for the passengers' lives. Lieutenant Zachary Garber, portrayed by Walter Matthau, takes charge of negotiations from the Transit Authority's control center. The film thrives on its gripping cat and mouse dynamics between the cunning hijackers and Garber's witty maneuvering to outsmart them while adhering to their escalating demands. Boasting a taut and suspenseful narrative, the movie showcases the gritty streets of 70s New York and brilliantly captures the city's pulse. The characters, each with distinct personas, add depth and intrigue to the high-stakes situation, with Robert Shaw's calculated portrayal of Mr. Blue standing out. The film's pacing, coupled with an engrossing screenplay, and David Shire's iconic score, crafts an intense atmosphere that keeps viewers on edge throughout. This thriller's impact on popular culture endures, influencing subsequent heist and hostage-themed movies and TV shows. Its clever dialogue and memorable sequences, particularly the cryptic conversations via radio transmissions, have become benchmarks in the genre. The film's nuanced portrayal of power struggles, human psychology under duress, and the intricacies of negotiation continue to resonate, cementing its status as a classic in the suspense genre. The taking of Pelham 123 remains a timeless emblem of gripping storytelling and masterful suspense, etching its place in cinematic history. Filming for the subway scenes in the flick began in late November 73 and stretched into January 74. These scenes were shot on a track that hadn't been used since the 40s, close enough to the A and E line still in action. They had the time takes between these trains running to and from Hoyt Schirmerhorn Station because of the noise and lights they brought along. Fun fact, the New York City Transit Authority never scheduled any six train to leave Pelham Bay Park Station at either 123 or 23, a practice they held onto for quite some time until they dropped it. Those trains still don't roll out at those times even today. Jim Pelham played the subway guard role. The taking of Pelham 123 emerged from John Goatee's 1973 bestseller, serving as its cinematic adaptation. But bringing this gritty narrative to life faced initial roadblocks. The New York Transit Authority hesitated to allow filming within the city's subway system, fearing it might inspire copycat crimes. Despite associate producer Stephen F. Keston's insistence on authenticity it took Mayor John V. Lindsay's intervention to secure cooperation. The task collaboration came at a pricey $1.75,000 anti-hijacking insurance purchased by United Artists, along with a $275,000 fee for subway use. Interestingly, the closing credits explicitly disclaimed any tie involvement in shaping the film's plot, story, or characters. Although based on real transit locations, the movie's creation remained independent of the authority's input. Notably, while Spielberg was considered for the director's role, the helm eventually went to Joseph Sargent. This behind-the-scenes struggle mirrored the tension within the film, adding layers to the production's narrative. David Shire's score for the film earned accolades, recognized among the top 10 film scores of all time by NPRS film music expert Andy Trudeau. The music complemented the suspense and intensity of the narrative, contributing significantly to the movie's immersive experience. 
Its impact extended beyond the screen, resonating with audiences and critics alike. The score's recognition added a layer of distinction to the movie, solidifying its place in cinematic history. This acknowledgement by a renowned expert underscores the quality and impact of the musical aspect within the film, elevating its status among movie enthusiasts and music aficionados. Walter Matthau, a native New Yorker, hadn't ridden the city's subway for many years, an interesting fact considering his role in the film. Despite being born and raised in New York, he had been distanced from the subway system. This contrast between his real-life experience and the role he portrayed as Lieutenant Zachary Garber adds an intriguing layer to his performance in the movie. Playing a pivotal character in a subway hijack situation while disconnected from the actual subway for years underscores Matthau's acting prowess, an ability to immerse himself in a role that was distant from his personal experiences. The taking of Pelham 123's narrative unfolds amidst the tense hijacking of a New York City subway train, Pelham 123, orchestrated by a group of armed men led by the enigmatic Mistress Blue. Amidst this gripping plot, Walter Matthau steps into the shoes of Lieutenant Garber, leading negotiations from the Transit Authority's control center. His portrayal brings depth to the character, navigating the high-stakes situation with wit and intelligence. However, Matthau's separation from the subway system in real life stands in contrast to his character's intimate knowledge and interaction with the subway world within the movie. This divergence adds an intriguing layer to the actor's performance and emphasizes his ability to convincingly portray a role that starkly contrasts with his personal experiences. The 1974 movie's portrayal of the subway system's tense hijacking, coupled with Matthau's portrayal of a seasoned transit officer, captivated audiences and cemented the film's place as a classic in the suspense genre, remaining a timeless emblem of gripping storytelling and masterful suspense. James Broderick, portraying the motorman Denny Doyle, adds another dimension to the film. His connection as Matthew Broderick's father, known for future iconic roles, is a noteworthy aspect, subtly weaving a family legacy into the fabric of this intense thriller. This convergence of actors with their personal backgrounds and familial connections subtly enhances the film's narrative, making the taking of Pelham 123 a timeless and multi-layered classic in cinematic history. As we wrap up this cinematic journey, I encourage you to take a moment to delve into the realm of reminiscence. Recall those thrilling moments, the tension that lingered in the air, and the characters etched in your memory from the film that unfolded the gripping tale of a subway hijacking. Let your thoughts wander through the maze of scenes, each carrying its own weight of suspense and intrigue. Whether it's the stellar performances, the pulse-quickening plot, or the sheer aura of 1970s New York City, there's something unique that resonates with each viewer. Perhaps it's the nostalgia for that era or the timeless themes that still strike a chord today. Whatever it might be, your personal connection with the taking of Pelham 123 is a story worth sharing. Your memories, reflections, and favorite moments add depth to this cinematic masterpiece's legacy. So, why not let your voice join this chorus of admirers? Share your thoughts, anecdotes, or even your favorite quotes from the film. After all, the beauty of cinema lies in the diverse perspectives it evokes. Thank you for your time and your passion for the art of storytelling woven into the fabric of this iconic movie.